Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to the Future Barber review of the new X trimmer from the Pissed Off Barber. It's a professional all metal body trimmer with a brushless motor. If you're new to brushless motors, they're basically quieter and more efficient with a higher torque to weight ratio and don't wear out as fast as brush motors. This trimmer runs at close to 7200 RPM and the efficiency of the brushless motor lets you feel every bit of that power when you're moving through the hair. After using it every day for almost three weeks, I have no complaints. It has more than enough consistent power to do anything I want to do on a daily basis. It goes through bulk like nothing and I haven't had it snag or get bogged down a single time. It's definitely quieter than any of the top trimmers out there, but I have heard quieter. For example, the JRL 2020T, which is extremely quiet. So for that reason, I'm going to give it an almost perfect 9 out of 10. The body. I've always been a fan of skinny streamlined trimmers, most notably the Andes Slimline Pro LI and more recently the Babless Low Pro FX, so this body style is right up my alley. Out of the three I'm going to have to give it to the X trimmer for my current favorite trimmer shape. I do kind of wish it was a little shorter though, which could be fixed if they remove that hanging hook from the bottom. I don't know anyone who uses that anyway, and I do find it gets in the way sometimes when maneuvering it around the client. Again, it's my favorite shape ever for a trimmer, but for that reason I'm going to have to give it a solid 8 out of 10. There's always room for improvement. The blade. This style of blade has been around for a while, starting with the Babless FX trimmers, and you're going to find a lot of differing opinions on which one is best. The Gold FX blade, the Graphite, the DLC 2.0, I've tried them all, and honestly as long as you adjust them properly from the factory setting that is usually bad, they all work fine. They aren't going to send you a zero grab trimmer straight from the factory because in the wrong hands that would be a liability. Everyone should be adjusting all their tools to the best of their ability pretty much as soon as you buy them, including the Psycho 6.9 blade. A key difference I noticed is that the cutting blade on this one has a slimmer profile, so you can actually get a lot closer before it begins to irritate the skin. You should still be careful though, because this thing has the ability to do some damage if you don't get it right or use too much pressure during lineups. That being said, I'm not sure if it's the cutting blade or the depth of the teeth or what, but this blade is awesome. I can't think of one I've used that's better. It just feels like it does exactly what you want it to do and you don't have to finesse it around or do anything to make it work perfectly, it just does. Like anything else, my opinion could change as time goes by on this one, but three weeks in with this blade and I'm gonna give it a solid nine out of 10, which is entirely dependent on it being adjusted properly. I'm never gonna judge a tool based on the factory configuration because they would all get a zero out of 10. The price. The only trimmer that compares to the X trimmer spec wise is the Stylecraft Sabre. And from what I've heard, it's an amazing trimmer. I like the body of the X better though. And with the price being significantly less, it's got fantastic value. If you want to get it for even cheaper when you buy one off the pissedoffbarber.com, you can use our code futurebarber at checkout to get a little bit more of a discount. Obviously, I'm going to have to give the price of the X trimmer a 10 out of 10. Should you buy this trimmer? Yes, immediately. As long as you adjust it properly and take it easy with the pressure you use on people's skin, there's no better trimmer on the market right now for quality and value, hands down. If you like this or any of our other videos, make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot of videos on the way, including a barbershop blueprint for anyone thinking about opening up their own shop, which you're not going to want to miss. We'll see you in the next one.